What is going on, guys? I'm back in the studio. Like, I'm. I mean, I'm not in the studio right now, but we are back in the studio in a second. I just wanted to say thank you to like everyone that has been supporting the channel. If you are new, don't forget to like subscribe because a lot of you are not subscribed that watch my videos. So you feel me? We're here to help each other out and let's get it, bro. I'm excited. Today we are making a Wonder Girl X Metro Booming type of beat. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. In the video, I'm starting out by saying that I'm making a 808 Mafia X Pyrex Whipper type beat, but like, don't pay attention to that. It is a Metro Booming Wonder Girl Q Beats type of melody. Um, and at the end, I throw on some drums for you guys just to give you like an idea. But let me know who you hear on this beat. I really don't know who will kill this beat, so let me know down in the comments. But yeah, I'm gonna switch to the FL Studio screen. I hope you enjoyed it and love. So I'm here in FL Studio as always. There's like a huge echo in my room right now. I don't know why. But we are just going to dive into the dark melody tutorial. So if you're a beginner or advanced, you can really like learn from this uh, tutorial. So don't click away yet. So I'm going to use probably some one shots and flex um, and maybe laps as well. I talked about laps in my previous videos and I tested it out and we really made some fire beats. So if you want to check that out, the link will be in the description or up here somewhere. I highly recommend you take your laptop next to you when like watching my videos because I really encourage you to like try for your own and like really experiment inside of FL Studio and that way you learn like the most out of this tutorial so what I'm first of all going to do is load up the minor harmonic scale it sort of gives like that Southside Pyrex um, Q beats type of uh, melodies like sound so minor melodic just click on this right here and then click on minor harmonic and I'm going to put that on A I usually like start on these higher notes and then like I can pitch him down. It's just something that I like to do. So let's just open up flex. This is like the second time I'm using this plugin and so far I'm liking it. So I already got some sounds right here that I like. Really has like so, sort of a dark vibe to it. So I'm just going to lay down some chords and then explain to you guys what I did. What I just laid down are some chords. I started on A, the root note, and then I just went like one, two, three, four, five, and I've placed one there, and then five, six, seven. So like that, what I then did is just like another note on the root note to bring like some highs inside of the melody. So it sounds like this. So what you can also do is put this note on the third note. And that gives it like a sadder vibe, but I want to go for like a more darker, grimier sound. So what I like to do is add an extra note right here. It sort of gives like a diminished sound, but I don't know any music theories for so my bad, but I'm just like going to explain it the best way I can. This note right here, what I added is just like an extra note to complement the main chords. Um, it just like gives the main chords a bit more body and character we can leave it like this what i like to do then is copy this over so Control b and then make this part unique and then carry on Really simple what I did with these chords. The second chord is I just copied over like that. And what I then did is I took this note and I just like went up in the scale. So 
I just like drag this one up like so. What I then did is I just deleted this note right here. And what I then did is just added an extra note by air, just what sounded right inside of the melody. After that, I like to go down with the melody and then back up, you feel me? Again, what I just did is build off of this chord. So I usually like just copy it over, but I just like drag it down. And as you can see, like some notes are out of the scale. But what you can do now is just like drag them down and see what like sounds right to you. So that's a clean way to like come up with easy chords. I think it's sounding nice already. So let's just add a counter melody. If you like struggle with counter melodies, I recommend you like copy over the main chords. So like that control C and then control V and then control arrow up. If you don't like want to spend hours on counter melodies, Alt S to strum it and like just go all the way. So as you can hear, it's not like completely sounding nice. So you just have to like tweak it a little bit. Like just make it easy for yourself. I just like copy this over to here and just make sure everything is in the right scale. To make your melodies a little bit more bouncier, add love filter. It's super fire in my opinion. It really like spices up your melodies. So what I just added are some accent notes from Labs, um, a string, and I'm going to add some effects to it. I already added Pancake to make it like go left and right. Um, it's a free plugin, so super fire. I think I wanna add a flute or maybe like harp or something. I kind of like that. kind of has like a metro booming sort of like a wonder girl type of vibe in my opinion rather than a pyrex with a south side type of melody so i think i'll structure it this way um, let's just render that out again what i'm going to do from here is um, add some effects to it and pitch it down Let me just like throw on some drums real, real quick, just like two minutes. 
one minute max just to give you like an idea what you can do like on this sample i'm working on a new drum kit it's almost finished astro drum kit probably dropping next week or the week after but if you follow me on instagram i'm gonna keep you guys updated so make sure to follow me on instagram <laughs> hey bro this was the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned from this as well really use the video to like try for your own and like try to recreate it and that way you like learn the most from it this was like more of a wonder girl metro booming q beats dark melody tutorial like a mix of them let me know who you hear on this beat like i, I really don't know maybe like drake or something or travis scott maybe you can do like a verse on this or a hook i uh, Mm, maybe 21 savage i don't know let me know in the comments down below i'm active on social media as well as kind of beats and i hope to see you in the next video guys peace